Directors often work with the same team of designers um, for many reasons. And you and I have had a uh, great pleasure to work together on a number of shows. Yeah. Can you talk about what some of the pluses are sure. to having that relationship? We know, I know the things that you irk you on stage, the things that you don't want to see, the things that don't fit the story, the kind of storyteller you are. Right. And then you know the kind of storyteller I am. So we can yeah. get to the point a lot quicker. The other thing I like about working with you over and over and over again and having a continuous relationship is that I feel so comfortable in the room during tech. Being able to explore together is priceless. Having a really strong vision directorially is really important, but at the same time, there needs to be a vulnerability. And I like that we can say, mm. yeah. <laughs> are yeah. you sure that's the right choice? Yeah. And this, you know, going both ways, or you can say, Joseph, are you sure you really want to do it that way? And then we can just, and there's no ego and. Yeah, and one thing too, as a designer, I think when you start a new collaboration, mm -hmm. and we can be a little timid, like, hey, could we adjust the blocking? Cause my lights aren't getting there. I can't make that shot. But with you, it's, uh, I, you know, I can walk up to you on stage and say, hey, can she just go here or he, can he go there? And you're like, let's look at it. Yeah. And that's what I love. It's like the answer is always let's look, let's see, and let's find out. So, Absolutely. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about our concept for Sweeney Todd sure. and your approach. So I was very invested in a Sweeney that spoke to a modern context. I find that the politics of the Victorian Penny yeah. Dreadful is actually very present mm -hmm. in our current situation in, in this country in our politics. I was really interested in kind of mashing up the Victorian with the modern day. So when you heard that, like, where did your brain go? How did your, your process begin thinking about the lighting for the show? Uh, the first thing was just excitement because, you know, with shows that are so iconic, Sweeney Todd being one of them, you kind of have elements that become part of the history of that piece. Absolutely. And it could be a little tough to get away from them. So what I was excited about, one, the concept of let's look at the politics and how they relate to now. And on top of that, you really wanted to create this space that was the space. It's, it's an environmental space. The, we're using the majority of the theater, if not all of it, to tell this story. So for me, it was like, okay, that tells me a couple things design-wise. It's that the lighting is also the scenery, mm -hmm. right? So, and then knowing that, it's like, where then will the lights end up being and how does that affect what I can do angle-wise? We have a lot of LED lights in the rig, a lot of moving lights, which is helpful because we can go from color to color, tell the story. We go to so many different places. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of my approach. It's what tools can I put into place to allow this space to be malleable, mm -hmm. but also feel immediate. This process, right, of, of, of putting together a show and designing a show starts months before, right. you know, even the actors get in the room um, and then we discover things. But, you know, once we're in the room for tech, <laughs> much, sometimes all of that can go right, right out the window. Out the window. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's such an in the moment thing. Can you talk a little bit about that process when we're in the room and actually putting you know all the pieces together which of course include the performers and the costumes and the props and the sound yeah. and, and how that process works sure you know i had to have a light plot in before we saw a designer run right so really my first impulses come from what is the scenery doing mm -hmm. and how does that affect this environment and what environment is that creating so then i can start placing things and figuring out what I want that to be. And then it's the rest of it just becomes where do I think things are going to happen? I mean, down center is always important, center center is always mm -hmm. important. And you and I have been in really close communication about where's the barber chair going, mm -hmm. there's the second placement, the third yeah. placement, and how to tell all that story. So I'll lay all that stuff out and, you know, submit it, and then we'll come into the designer run mm -hmm. and I'll learn a lot. But what that means for me is that I have to be flexible, right? right? I have to solve the problems in the moment. So ultimately it's like between the two of us and all other members of the team collaborating together, we have to sort of go, what's telling the story mm -hmm. the best yep. in the moment? And I always say all the time, theoretical is theoretical. Yep. Leave that at the door when you walk <laughs> into tech because I have to respond to what's happening in front yeah. of me immediately. Yeah, great. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited to start tech. I am too. <laughs> and thank you so much for taking the time today to yeah. join us. Thank you for having me. All right. This is great.